Hello, I'm Dr. Fiao from Zoe Royal Hospital and Fertility Center. We are talking about an ovulation today. An ovulation. An ovulation, another term for an ovulation is ovulatory dysfunction or absent ovulation. Ovulation has to do with the release of an egg from the ovary every month. The release of an egg from the ovary every month. So in a menstrual cycle, there is always the release of an egg before you get to the menses and then the menses comes. So a condition in which there is absent ovulation, where there is no release of an egg from the ovary, is what we term an ovulation. An ovulation. So in an ovulation, instead of the woman releasing an egg every month, the egg is not released. Sometimes you may have women who are not releasing their eggs every month, but they have their menses. Sometimes you have conditions like that. The menses comes, but they do not release their egg. But when a woman is not releasing an egg every month, there are certain signs and symptoms that will indicate that she is not ovulating. Firstly, there is irregular menstruation irregular menstruation so when she's not releasing an egg there are times she may not see her menses sometimes for a month sometimes two months three months she may not see her menses so when a woman has irregular menstruation it is possible she's not ovulating secondly some women may menstruate but they will have a very scanty flow scanty menstrual flow so she has her menses and it comes just in a day and what comes is like a drop. It doesn't soak a pad. That may also be an indication that she's not ovulating. So there is scanty menstrual flow. The other thing, you know, normally when women are menstruating or they are ovulating, they have this breast tenderness. And then sometimes there is pain in the side of the abdomen when they are ovulating. When a woman is not ovulating, those signs may not be there. So sometimes the breast tenderness may not be there. Sometimes the pain in the lower abdomen may not be there. But let me caution. There are instances you may have those signs and yet the ovulation may not be happening because the body has various ways of adjusting to situations. What are the causes of an ovulation? There are various causes. First of all, it has to do with hormonal imbalance. You know, for the ovaries to be able to release an egg, there are hormones that are released, which has to stimulate the ovaries and then the eggs will be released. Now, when there is an imbalance in the levels of those hormones, it can lead to an ovulation. Secondly, when there is a problem with the ovary itself, ovarian dysfunction, or there is a condition called polycystic ovaries, when a woman has a condition like that, sometimes they do not ovulate and that can also lead to the condition that we are talking about there are instances where high levels of stress physical stress emotional stress exhaustion and all that can also affect a woman's ovulation and make it possible that she does not release an egg that's also a factor and so there are various things sometimes when a woman loses weight so much weight loss extremely it can lead to an ovulation and all that and so if you notice you have irregular menstrual cycles some months you don't see your menses sometimes you don't see the signs of ovulation like rise in body temperature the pain that you may feel when you are ovulating the breast tenderness and all that or you have been trying to get pregnant for some time but it's not happening because the major causative factor for infertility in women is an ovulation so if you've been trying to get pregnant for some time and it's not happening you may have to check to see if you are ovulating or not and so that when they see you are not ovulating there are various treatments that can be given to you to be able to 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 manage that problem this is dr fiao will come your way again next time until then healthy life is a priority